Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve. We're talking today about a little bit of Final Cut Pro and a little bit of motion, but really building motion graphics in Final Cut. Right, you can build all your motion graphics in motion, you know, complete with animated backgrounds and titles. Yeah. And then you can publish all that stuff. And then you're like, I wish I would have published that one other thing. <laughs> and then right, you go back. Right. Need to change. I, you know, that's one way to work. Mm -hmm. I choose to work a little bit different, specifically with uh, with graphics that have thematically similar elements that I can repurpose. Okay, so we're getting some insight into your workflow for building motion graphics. Exactly. And this all started when I got an email, actually a couple of emails, uh, about the graphics used on our YouTube channel. Let me show you what sure. I'm talking about. So I'm gonna jump out to YouTube and this graphic in particular. Very familiar with that one. Very familiar, yes. People really like that graphic. Yeah. It was all created in, in motion and assembled, as it were, in Final Cut Pro. Ah, okay. So you're gonna see very much my Lego systemic bricks approach. Great. Okay, so jumping back into Final Cut, and I have a generator browser opened, and I'm gonna just skim over some of the elements. So here's the background, uh, one of the backgrounds I created so in Motion. Let me back up a minute. These are, these are elements that you created in Motion and published to Final Cut Pro. Yes, they've been okay. published. So this is a little generator published right mm -hmm. there to my generation browser. And that's just one background, and I gave myself some options for, for changing things, but the, more on that later. Okay. Uh, but here's the little pieces, the elements I was talking about. Like here's a little ribbon that comes on. That was a separate published okay. element. And I'm assuming there's an alpha channel there. There's an alpha channel, exactly. Okay. And here's a yellow one, if I want to use mm -hmm. the yellow one. Um, if I jump into titles, I created a separate element for the uh, animated title, I see. right? Mm -hmm. And again, the reason I did this is because I have a bunch of different tutorials from different apps and I don't want to have to like start from scratch every time. I mm -hmm. want to just kind of mm -hmm. have these little components to work with. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Generator's browser. I'm going to go select this background raise and I'm just going to press E to append it to the timeline. Okay. And there it is. And you've already got some little open before that. Yeah, well, yeah. you know that I just, from the last Mac break, just, okay. you know, really, really, really need, need it. it. Okay. Yeah. So, so I've got this background. And uh, let's see, I want to add a graphic to this. So I'm going to you know, move my play and I have to press X. And you'll learn, you've learned this from a previous episode of Mac Break. I'm going to go into the uh, Photos browser and I have the graphics there. You stored your own I've stored my graphics own graphics. So uh -huh. I'm, going to, I'm going to select that and just press Q. And I've got this graphic here. I've just kind of laid it on the top. So all of the graphics are also a separate element, as you can see. Yes. I have them in my nice little library. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to select that graphic, press Command 4, and I'm going to go down to the compositing modes. I'm going to set this for kind of soft light and just reduce the opacity just a little bit. Nice. And, but th that's basically you're looking at the background for, yeah. for our YouTube graphic. Yeah. And let's go ahead and add some other components. I'm going to jump back to the uh, generator. And I, like I said, I've got this little ribbon. I'm just gonna actually go back in here. Maybe I want the ribbon to come out starting here. So I'll press I, select the ribbon, press Q. So now I have the ribbon coming on right about there. And so of course, it's going really slow and you can control the speed. In this case, we can control the speed by the- Shortening. Or by the, shortening the, 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 the that's just that's the, just how just, That's just how it works. This particular one this, works, yeah, right? This, exactly. Um, oh, the title, let's add that. So I'm gonna jump back into the- And obviously you could edit that text. Oh yeah, and I, I, absolutely. You can just select it and double click and then, you know, I can uh, edit the text and what are we calling this? Uh, Mac break. Mac yeah. break, yes. And just go ahead and really edit it. Mac break goodness. There we go, that's the name of the- Okay. All right, so, so I've got that there. And I wanna add the, the main title, and I have that um, sitting in my titles browser, and I'll just grab that. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in here, right about there. And like you said, there it is, and I can edit it, but I'm just playing it. But there's the, there's the my graphic. But this is the best part, is like, I, I can edit this, I, because they're all in components, yeah. I can go in and I can, I can play with these. Like for example, um, I want to do a motion version of this, or a Da Vinci version, or a whatever, Premiere, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. production. I want to do a variation on a theme. Okay. okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this background. Actually select the raised background, and this is where the publishing comes in. I published a few parameters to allow me to change that particular background. You can yes. see here, uh, I can change the background color of the rays. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a, this, this nice kind of a bluish color. 
right? And maybe I might want to play with, um, let's see here, the rays themselves. Maybe I'll make them maybe a dark, dark color like that, uh -huh. right? So I've changed the rays to give it a little darker feel. And let's say, well, the red isn't sticking out as well against the blue background, so I'm going to go into the banner, select that, and go into the generator. And I can go ahead and just, well, let's go ahead and give it a kind of a yellow look to it, you know, kind of a gold look. Nice. See, look at that. Nice. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, I've got that. And I'm going to go ahead and I know this isn't Final Cut anymore, so I select it. And I can go ahead and uh, highlight this. And your series is called Motion Magic. Magic. Motion Magic. Right. Edited that, in Final Cut. Yeah, so <laughs> there it is. But the graphic in the background is wrong. It's a rocket. And we have Mr. Uh, Ma that, Mr. Little, that little Mr. Mid, Magic, Mr. Guys. Mr. Magic the guy. Magic hat with the mustache, yeah. yeah. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. Now, where, where's he? Well, in, in your previous photos browser? Yes, in the photos browser. Remember previous episode? Yeah. I show you can go in here, and there is a Mr. Magic right there. And um, I could just grab him and just drag him on top there. Choose. Oh, one little thing, little tip. Okay, this already has some, uh, some blend some mode. Blend mode. So You're I'm gonna, gonna copy first. I'm gonna copy first yes. before I replace it. So yes. I'm gonna grab that guy, throw it on there, replace which is start. replace from start, and then select that and command paste shift attributes. V, paste attributes, and I can do I can paste the position, rotation scale. I wanna look at this, I can paste the compositing mode. That'll yeah. give it the same blend mode. I could do scale and position, but the graphics are they're slightly different size, but um, Go ahead and publish, go ahead and do that. And uh, you can see here it's a little bit small, so I'll just go over here and uh, scale up the graphic. There it is. Nice, and if I hit nice. Shift T, yeah. I can uh, do a slight turn on the little guy. There we go, there he is. That's just, this is how I actually did it. I'll scale him up just a bit more. There we go. And uh, I've just completely <laughs> redid the graphic using these little parts it's, that I've published. It's fascinating to me because, um, you know, I, I do, I would do all this stuff in motion just because I use motion a lot, right. but for, for Final Cut Pro editors who are comfortable editing and doing this kind of timing work in Final Cut, it absolutely makes sense that you build these components in motion and then do all this fine tuning in Final Cut where you're comfortable and you know the tool set really well yeah. for adjusting all the timing. It's, it's just great. Well, I like having all these pieces and I can just put yeah. it together at, at will and make, you know, make different versions. And the pieces aren't uh, locked, rendered. The pieces are dynamic. The mm -hmm. text can be changed. You've published parameters. You can change the colors, That's scale, right. yeah. blend modes, everything. Yeah. So it's really interesting. You're using Final Cut Pro's composite and capabilities in combination with motion in a really interesting way. Yeah, it's just one way to work. Yeah. And no, notice there's no music. And we said in a previous episode, while well, you can't publish uh, audio button. from yeah. Motion, you can publish it, but um, just as a review, if I go to the sound browser, I have this really nice folder I uh, called uh, Template Stingers. Right there, I have all my Template Stingers. And, right there. Right, so they're, they're right here. So um, let's see, this is Energetic, uh, this is the Jazz. I'll just go ahead and throw that right there. It's right at my fingertips, and now I have... The whole opening animation, yep. It's great. Isn't it's a nice, really yeah. interesting way to work. I like it. A great way to combine motion and Final Cut Pro 10. Yep. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Building a toolkit. Building a toolkit. Awesome. Hope you guys liked that as much as I did. Uh, RebelTraining.com, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Check us and YouTube. Yeah. Check us out on all those venues for Final Cut Pro, Motion, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, iMovie. We're doing a lot of things. Production tutorials. We've got a great production tutorial out there as well. So um, thank you again for watching MacBreak Studio.